What's up you legends and welcome back to another video. Today we're following up from the last video which is with Jeremy Loves Cars. So you maybe saw on Wednesday we posted a video where I went to a reveal which was the wrap reveal of Jeremy's beautiful C63. Absolutely stunning car. So you revealed this brand new wrap but actually there's a lot more that's kind of changed on the car more than just the wrap. So we came today, he's filming a video on my R8. I thought it looked quite cool with both cars here so I thought I'd do the intro like this and today we're going to have a full walk around what I think is one of the coolest C63s in the world. So he's going to get in, he's going to start it up, he's going to move it forward so that we can really look around the entire car. Listen to this noise. Whoa! Yep, it sounds pretty good. It's so pretty. Right, let's look around this car then, because as you can tell, it's pretty wacky. So Jeremy's going to come around with me, but he speaks French, so... I speak a little bit in English. A, a little bit of English, so we'll try... I'll, I'll, like, do most of the dynamic talking about the car. But uh, there's so many things to talk about, I don't really know where to start. So the wrap is obviously the main thing, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. The first big difference is a front splitter right here. So this, for me, is the ultimate C63, and the entrance price of these things now, the 6.2 liter 507s, um, is, is pretty interesting. So I think this is one of the ultimate dailies, which isn't, cr it's obviously a very expensive car, but it's not crazy, crazy expensive. So the front splitter, and the company that makes this are called Maxton Design. Maxton Design, very nice, so piano black. There's a little bit of carbon here. This is actually wrapped carbon fiber, and I'll tell you why when we get to the back of the car. So wrapped carbon, and all of the detailing, so like the logos, everything is finished in black as well. So it's a completely murdered out look, which obviously goes well with the wrap. Now the 507 inherits the hood, the front hood, from the black series as well with those air vents, as well as these really cool looking rims. Red brake calipers, those are uh, original, those haven't changed, they, were, they came with the car. We've then got Maxton as well down the side on the side skirts, so that adds a little bit of a beefy look. The wheels actually have been brought out a little bit. Exactly. Um, and that was, what was the name of the Berlin. company? Uh, Arte Mototem. Arte Mototem. Arte Mototem, who, who kind of widened out so the wheels are much more flush um, with the car. So that looks awesome. And then back here, a little add-on on the rear diffuser. So this is actually the stock rear diffuser, but then on the side, like you can see here, again, it's the same company, right? Exactly. Yeah, they've added a little bit of piano black to go with it. It originally was kind of a plasticky color. This has been wrapped in black as well. And the Armatrix exhaust tip. So it's a full Armatrix DCAT system on this. <laughs> So this thing sounds insane. Absolutely. Now, we've then got also, this is my favorite touch uh, on the car, is a full carbon fiber rear um, wing here, which this is epic because you see a lot of them originally, you can get them with like a little bit of a rear wing, but this is kind of like just much bigger, much wider, uh, much higher. The design of it is awesome and the blacked out logos as well. So this for me is an example of how to, you know, tune your car in a way which is super recognizable, but without also making it, you know, kind of too much, mm -hmm. too much tuning. So the 507's already got kind of widened arches. You notice it the most around front here. Now the wrap is a really particular wrap and the story behind it is originally this car was going to be yellow. Yep. And then you ended up getting the cover and getting the material and it wasn't good enough quality. It didn't do the car justice. Mm. So you drove to Belgium because of COVID, there was no <laughs> delivery. Yeah. Drove all the way to Belgium in 24 hours, right? Exactly. And then drove back down with three different films. So they're all 3M. Um, film. So we've got Dragon Red, Dragonfire Red, Saturn Battle Shield uh, Grey, and then Matte Black, Black. as well. Um, and so there's a few different levels to it. So on one side, it's a monotone, really nice red, um, kind of like True Blood Red, which comes all the way down the side. You've got Jeremy Loves Cars as well. And a really nice detail is they've done the door sills. Now all of this was done in four days by Supercars. Um, who are right here, this is their Instagram. They did an awesome job. So all done, door sills as well. Now door sills are really tricky to do and add a, a, a big a price, price yeah, yes, sorry, to, the, uh, to yeah. the car. But it's kind of like, uh, I don't have the door sills done on my car and it is something you notice a lot. Every time you get into the car, you do notice mm. it. So it's kind of worth it. Now, 
This side is a lot more wacky. And you actually gave the designers MIG at Supercars. Yeah. You gave him what we call carte blanche. Like you kind of just said, do whatever you want to do uh, on the car. And it's awesome. So they've added a few kind of army-esque stars, but mainly all of this like, these lines are inspired by the AMG logo, the lines on the AMG logo. So all the way down here, and then you've obviously got the 63 down the side as well, because it's a C63 AMG. And I, I really think you've done such a cool job with the design on this. I, I really love this side. Because yeah. when you see this side, it's the same thing to the Moscow car, uh, to NASCAR. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's true, it looks like a real race car from this exactly, side. So. Yeah. No, it is awesome and I really think this is why I wanted to do a video on this car because it's so particular and I saw it and, you know, I really liked your car before but seeing it now, it, you know, kind of really mm. gives me something special so I wanted to show it because, as I said, the entry price is more reasonable than on a lot of other cars that we'll make videos on. So I wanted to show this is what you can do, you know, is this the perfect C63 kind of. I think so, yeah. um, now a few other little changes which I find quite cool that I've never seen before. So show us what you've done to the mirrors because this okay. is a really cool change. All right, check this out. So when you unlock or lock the car, uh, this is such a cool detail, so go on. So you get the classic orange and then, you ready, wait for it. Oh, how cool is that? How sick is that? Like that makes it. such a difference. So it's in blue, which I think actually looks really cool. And it's just a, one, one of those little details which adds so much to the car. Now another change, um, which I actually am super interested in because I've ordered this for the R8. It hasn't arrived yet, but I'm getting basically exactly the same. This is a brand new steering wheel. So it's made by a company called SW Custom and they're making a custom one for me as well for the R8. Now here, uh, if I switch the light on, you'll probably be able to see it easier. Is that the biggest? Yeah, that's the biggest light. So full carbon um, Alcantara all around, as it was on the 507, and then carbon fiber down here. So this is new, and the quality is insane, the way they've done it. It's so good, feels so solid, nice and thick. Now they've also added, if you come in close, paddles as well, carbon fiber paddles, which feel so, so, I mean, you know, I don't know if you've ever tried out cheap feeling paddles where they kind of bend in your fingers and then prop ones where it's a real click, it's a quality click. And then when you switch the car on, ah, oh, whoa. It's really cool because, so these are LEDs, so classic when you need to change gear, it goes green, orange, red. And then you have a little screen here which actually gives you your speed, your RPMs, it gives you um, your fuel information, your oil temperatures, it gives you loads of different things. So that's a really, really nice change and I'm super excited to get mine. Mine's slightly different, so I have the carbon down here, Alcantara here, and then I actually have the top section in carbon as well. And the middle airbag in Alcantara, with, all with red stitching, which I think is gonna look pretty cool. So I'm excited to get that in mind. And honestly, Jeremy, I'm so happy for you. This thing is a beast, and I really wanted to show my audience because I find that you've done a really, really good job. I've actually driven this car before, so if you guys wanna see that, there are videos of me driving this car, but now what you've done with the design of it, I find awesome. Yeah. So congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, see I you mean, soon. Thank you for letting us film with it. It's yeah. a simple walk around video, but there are a lot of people with C63s out there wondering how to modify them. So I think this can give you some cool ideas. Your own original wrap, little lighting details, new steering wheel, exhaust, and body kit around. Yeah. It just comes together and gives a pretty awesome package. So thank you for showing us the car. Thank you for watching the video. Jeremy has his own channel if you speak French. Uh, you can go see his channel. His Instagram is going to be down below as well. And uh, all I have to say now is that I'll see these guys next time. Jeremy, thank you. Stay. Thank you. And uh, see you soon, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.